In today's lesson, we're going to learn about preset templates. By the end of this lesson, you will know how to edit videos in a quicker way using preset templates, customize those templates to your liking, and finally create your own templates. So let's get started. So right over here in the My Media menu, down here you can see there's a folder called Preset Templates. If you open that folder, we have a custom folder and all templates. In here, the custom one is where you get to make your own templates. We're going to come back to this soon, but let's take a look at the templates that are already there. So we have tons to choose from. Each of them have a different category. We have travel, photography, game, birthdays, business, and much more. You can also get other templates from Filmstock. We will learn about that in another lesson. So let's see what happens when we bring one of these templates onto our timeline. I downloaded Travel Intro 2. Let's drag it to my timeline. We can see that we have three elements onto our timeline now. We have an audio that has been faded out, you can see. We have a video and finally a title. So let's play this back and see what this template is. There we go. So not only do we have the video, which we can change, we also have this really nice text and some graphics on the side. We also have this music uh, playing in the back. And as we saw, it has been faded out, which means I don't need to edit this myself again. I'm gonna bring these one floor down. There we go. So if I want to use this template and use it for my own purpose, all I need to do is to delete the video and put something of my own. Let's put this video and I'm just going to crop it right here. Uh, split it first and then get rid of the rest. Now I have my own video underneath this template with all the animations and all. All I need to do, apart from putting your own video or images, it doesn't have to be just videos, you can also change the text in the text layer. So let's go ahead and change this text. I just need to go on the text, double click on any part of it, and type in my own text flower. Let's double click here, put another date. Let's put um, April 2022. And I have another one down here. I can put uh, spring. All right, so I have customized my text and now this is related to my video. There we go. I have my own uh, date, my text, the subtext and all of that. Let's take a look at some other templates. I'm going to delete all of that. Head over to My Media Templates. Let's try this Minecraft template. I'm going to download it. And these also have some end screens, as you can see. So you would put these end screens at the end of your video and then upload it to YouTube where you can put the next item in your playlist for people to just click at. Let's bring in the Minecraft template. And you can see we've got plenty of items, got about nine. And with the one audio track, we have 10 items. I'm going to let Filmora render this. You can see the green bar increasing automatically. And now let's play this back. If I'm a gamer and I play Minecraft, I could use this template to showcase my next videos right here on my YouTube channel. This also allows me to reference my social medias and allow my viewers to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and customize this. We have this image right here. Let's uh, actually, let's see the transitions at the end. There we go. Let's double click on this footage and see what we have. We have a square blur and it's just blurring out the image. If I turn this off, you can see that it's in focus. 
but if I turn this back on, it's blurred. I'm just going to get something of my own and I'm going to get this landscape. All right, let's put it on top right here and we're going to replace it. Let's play this. And we have our background and it could be a photo of me or my uh, device, but you can see it's pretty easy to customize. There we go. All right, so I tried a photo. Let's try a video. I will go to stock media in my downloads. Just get something that I've used. Search for gaming. All right, I will get this controller. So I want to replace this image with this video. To replace media, you just need to hold down a bunch of keys and click and drag the new video on top of the old footage. If you are on Windows, you need to hold down Control, Shift, and Alt all together, and then click and drag your video on top of the old one. But if you're using Mac, you just need to hold down Command and Option at the same time. Let's select the video track that has the old footage. Hold down Command and Option, click and drag the new video on top. Now I have it in the same spot with the blur effect. And if you don't hold down those keys, you will end up getting something like this. So you're just gonna uh, place the new video in between the old footage, and then you would have to bring in the blur yourself. So you can easily replace media and keep the effects if you hold down these keys. Again, if you're on Windows, it's Control, Shift, and Alt at the same time. But if you are on Mac, then it's Command and Option at the same time. Let's play this and see what it looks like. There we go, that's pretty cool. I'm getting some animations instead of a uh, static image. You can also go ahead and combine what you learned about keyframing to make this even more interesting. So I'm going to double click on my video, head over to animation, customize, and maybe I want it to scale in at some point or have it uh, come in from the opposite way. So let's scale in the video by just clicking and dragging this somewhere here. Click and drag the keyframe to the beginning. Come over here where you can just make it zoom out. Let's go to the end and just zoom out until you can. We don't want to see the black bars, so that would be somewhere around 100. And remember, the longer the space, the slower the animation. I want this animation to be slow. Play this back. And now it's a lot better. It's like slowly zooming out as the controller is moving left and right. Let's hit OK and try to work with the titles. Select the title, just double click on any one actually. And you have this font. You could change the font, but it's really nice with the uh, effect we have going on. Let's just write something else, right? Instead of Minecraft, put my gaming channel or the name of your YouTube channel, hit OK. You can still uh, add some animations if you'd like, change the style to something else like this or anything that you'd like. I'm gonna go with this, the yellow. Let's see what's next. We have some elements. This element is the heart animation that you see right here. Let's play it back. I'm going to mute the music for a bit. Let's play this back and you can see we have this nice heart animation just like you would in games. Similarly, we have the flower animation for previous video right here. So it's just rotating. You can go ahead and put your own elements. Let's see what options we have. Go to elements, gaming, hit gaming, and you have a lot more options. You can put a countdown, maybe a diamond, or anything else. Let's try to replace one of these. I will get this diamond. 
hold down command and option if you're on Mac and replace it with this. And now let's go back. And now my diamond has replaced that heart, meaning that it's still uh, pretty small. You can see the scale size and it has been positioned in the exact same spot. But if I were to drag this like this, let's put it here. This is what I would get and it will just be in the middle of my video. So make sure that you are replacing the elements so that you have the exact same uh, style as the template. Let's do the same thing for these. You can just put it at the start, hit replace, or hold down command option if you'd like. So now instead of that heart, I have this diamond. There we go. I'm going to leave the flower as it is. Let's go to the social media subscribe pack. We have three of these, one, two, three. You get to change the text and put your own social media. Let's write my channel and hit okay. There it is. So you can just go ahead and replace the text in each of these layers. We then have these, uh, let's see what they are. Turn it off. We have these boxes, but it's transparent so we can still see the uh, the video underneath. And if you come down, this frame is a part of the pixel block pack title three, which is this text that we made yellow. Now, if I want this uh, order of elements as the way we made it with the same font, same colors, same elements and all, I can go ahead and save this as a template. So it will show up in the custom group and then I can come back to it, use it as many times as I want. And you can do this with all the other templates as well. So I have just customized this to my liking and I just want to keep it for later use. Head over to file, save project as template. There we go. It's telling me where I would find this template. Hit this, hit go. And now it's over here. I can right click, rename my gaming channel and then click away. So I have my first custom uh, template. I can also go ahead and just, let's delete all this. I can also really quickly edit my videos without having to explore through the many effects and transitions and just get things over with a lot more quicker. So let's go with the how to paint intro. Let's say I'm on a tight deadline and I just need to edit this paint video. Instead of going in each of these menus, I can just grab a template right here and just customize it the way I like, All right? Special class presented by Filmora or by me. We also have this social media thing down here, leave a comment. So this did not take me long at all because I did not have to go and find fonts that would match this aesthetic. I did not have to find an element that would go well with this video. And Filmora puts these templates for you so that you can really quickly edit your videos. So templates are a great way for you to edit without spending too much time on Filmora. It's a great way to edit videos on the go. Let's say you have a gaming channel on YouTube and you're just editing your videos for that channel. You would want all the videos to have one end screen. So instead of dragging in the template every time, you could just make one and put it in the customized folder. And that way you just need to click and drag it, customize it for that video and export it. You can also make your own custom templates without having to go in here. So let's try that and delete all of these. Let's put a placeholder video for now, put this car video. Let's get a random audio. All right, fade it out like we learned, delete the rest, grab this guy to fade it out. Let's get a title. I will get, I will get survivor game opener five. You can search for that if you want the exact same thing. 
drag it on top. All right, let's put it right here. Get some elements while we're here. Get like a few of these. And I'm just stacking things on top so that I have my own template. And let's put a transition while we're here. Oops, uh, so it's a pretty random thing. I'm going to keep this muted. Play this back. Getting a really cool animation. There's my element and there's my other element. So now I want to keep this for later use. I just need to go to File, Save Project as Template. There we go. My Media, Custom, and now I have another one. I can rename this. Call it intro. And that was how you can use preset templates. They're easy, they're efficient, and they are a lifesaver. Let's move to the next lesson where we learn more about Filmora's timeline.